If you have not checked out Dollar General for fall, you definitely need to watch this video. I found some brand new items that I've never seen before. If you're new here, I'm Liz, and I love showing you how to create high-end home decor without spending much at all. If you guys have followed along on any of my Dollar General videos, you know they have this table at my Dollar General with all of their seasonal finds. I can't wait to show them to you. How adorable are these plaid pumpkins? The larger one is eight, the smaller is four. They also come in other colors. You can get them just in like a gray and white. You can pick up different size lanterns. The smaller one is 10. One that's a little bit larger is 12. I love these dough bowls slash trays. You could do so much with it. You can just put a centerpiece out or another thing is you could make your own DIY candle and put it in there as well. How adorable are these trays? I definitely think we could DIY with them. The largest one is 12, the smaller one is $10. Trays are one of my favorite items to update and DIY. You can really give them a high-end look. So with this tray, I'm gonna be adding some cane to the base of it. And at first I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to put it on there. So I cut a big piece and then I kind of just started to eyeball how I was going to put it in. And I tried a couple of methods. One method was just kind of cutting it. That wasn't working very well. Then I decided to kind of mark it where I wanted to cut it out and then cut out where I marked it. From there, I did also fold it in a bit so I could see where that fold line was and then I could cut that line off. Just keep working with it until you can get it to fit in your tray as evenly as possible. And then I'm gonna use hot glue around the edges to hold it in place. Next up, I'm going to paint the base of it with ink by Waverly. I'm gonna be using a foam brush and I'm going to have to dab it on there pretty thick just because I'm trying to get through two layers to cover it. I'm also going to add paint to the inner sides and if you get any paint on the top, that's okay. Just take a wet paper towel and immediately wipe it off. Let this dry and then you have a beautiful tray to sit out for the fall season. I cannot wait to look through all these fall aisles. Now, one tip I have is make sure you go to your store early. That way you're gonna get the best selection. Check out this plush pumpkin for $5. Now I'm just seeing an orange one, but earlier when I came the other day, they had one in white as well. $5 for one of these big cinnamon sticks. I have a great DIY for this. I'm really excited to create a high-end dupe for this broom that I saw at Pottery Barn. I picked up two to make this DIY a little bit fuller and more substantial. I'm gonna place the two brooms on top of each other and I'm gonna cut off any threads that are sticking out. Then I'm gonna grab some twine that I had in my stash. I'm gonna start wrapping the twine around where the existing twine was to hold them together. I'm gonna do this on all the areas where the broom previously had twine. This is going to help make my broom look seamless and you wouldn't be able to tell it was two brooms. Next, to give it that glow, I picked up some fairy lights from Dollar Tree. I picked up two packs. This was kind of trial and error. I started weaving the lights in and out at the bottom. Then as I went up, I decided to just start wrapping the lights around, kind of crisscrossing the lights as I went, making sure that the battery pack was going to be in the back where I was going to set it against the wall. I absolutely love how this broom turned out. It might be my new favorite fall DIY. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment the word of the day, which is broom. You cannot beat the wood crates and baskets at Dollar General. Look how gorgeous these are. Perfect for the fall, so many options. Ooh, these are cute. These little $2 pumpkins. And I don't know what this is. Is this some kind of shelf? This is adorable. It looks like two smaller shelves, $10 for the larger one. And this one is eight, really cute. Oh, I love these little fillers. 
these are great you guys so this one's four this one's three these are great for putting in centerpieces i use these all the time so you can get like a green and brown one or they also have orange and like red pumpkins candles oh are these mugs like the pottery barn ones that we saw delaney these are only three dollars pottery barn has mugs that are so similar to this right now They're also carrying these $6 neutral garlands this year. That's a pretty good deal for this. You could make a wreath, you could add it to maybe your table decorations, put a couple of them on your mantle as well. And then you could just fill it in with some more greenery or pumpkins. If you guys are wanting a ready put together floral arrangement, they have some great options. This one is around $8. I also like this one for $6. I feel like these look pretty high end and they're already done. You just put them out in your house. These are so high end looking. Look at these black matte pictures, $8. Look at this adorable soap container, $3. Check out this planter, $5, you guys. That looks super high end. So I love all the clocks that they have at Dollar General, but they're plastic and some of the finishes are a little cheesy. I'm gonna grab one of these, show you how you can update it really quick and easy and make the finish look a little bit more high end. I'm having a hard time deciding which clock to get. I like this one, but I also really like this one. So let me know in the comments which one you guys would pick, either the gold or black. I'm going to be using two shades of my gold rub and buff. I find that when you combine two shades, it really gives the piece more dimension. So I'm gonna be mixing the two colors together, adding it on to my existing plastic. I did get a little bit on the glass. That's okay, you can wipe that up. This was a subtle change to this clock, but I love the way the finish turned out. If you're on Instagram, make sure you're following me at Lisbon McDIY because I post behind the scenes content and DIYs sometimes before they go live on YouTube. Look at these gorgeous decorative baskets, $12 for the larger ones, $8 for the smaller ones. You can get them in this navy or they also have this gorgeous gray and white stripe. Convince me these are not from Pottery Barn Kids for your kids' room. I found some more great basket choices. Let's elevate this one and make it even cuter. I wanted to elevate this basket and create a planter, so I'm gonna do my combination of E6000 and hot glue on the top portion of this riser. You guys ask me sometimes why I use E6000 and hot glue. Well, the hot glue is going to be an instant bond, while the E6000, it's gonna take overnight to bond, but it's going to be a much stronger bond. It's going to help your piece hold together over time. I'm gonna place the basket in the center of my riser. You may need to add something into your basket so that your plant is the right height. I'm just putting this bowl in upside down. Next, you can put in any plant of your choice. Did you guys know you can pick up lamps at Dollar General? They're usually between like $15, $25. The larger ones are around $25. There's even some that are really cute for fall. We're calling this section of the video DIYing in stores. So they have these planters, which are awesome. But if this isn't your style, another option you could do is use one of their baskets and put that in place. It makes it a softer look. You could even spray paint these legs as well and add in a plant of your choice. Last time I was at Dollar General, I picked up this beaded wreath. Let's DIY it. I think the best new item out at Dollar General is this beaded wreath. It is so gorgeous for $10. I so hope that you guys can find it. Now, I really loved it just the way it was, so I just wanted to add a simple bow. You can use any ribbon. This ribbon is a fall ribbon from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to tie a tight knot 
Then I'm gonna create a loop and tie a bow, pulling it so it's nice and fluffy. And the thing with bows is you just wanna keep working with it and adjusting it until you get that desired look that you want. Then I will cut the tails off at an angle, trying to make them as even as possible. I'm gonna hot glue the tails in place so it doesn't go anywhere. And this is a great item to hang anywhere in your home. I would love to know which one of these projects was your favorite. I really love the broom, but I also love how the tray turned out. So let me know your favorite down below. I love knowing your opinion. Don't be afraid to try that project you've been wanting to try. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. I hope you guys subscribe because I want to see you back here. Bye.